Marcus, I, I've I've chatted with Marcus several times now, so that's Mysterious. that's really yeah. good. Yeah, move on. And uh, Tegan, it's the first time I've gotten to see you, so that's yeah, nice that's great. virtually meet you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so nice that you all could join us. Um, and <laughs> so, so we there might be people that will join us um, as time goes on, and there might be questions, and I'll kind of try to try to watch watch out for that. Um, and so, are you you guys? I'm assuming are in Vancouver somewhere. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm in Yelm, Washington. That's where I am. So I'm out I'm out in the middle of the country in Washington, kind of Western Washington. So. Not too far from you guys. Nice. Mm -hmm. I was in Point Roberts actually this weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. It's lovely. Oh. All right. Uh, let's see. And so, so at least we do have one very dedicated viewer right now, and she is saying she's really excited to see Summer in the Vineyard um, on on uh, Saturday. That'll be for us who are <laughs> who are in who who have Hallmark Channel. So. So for those who are joining us now and those who are joining us later, uh, my name is Ruth Hill and I am going to be interviewing, we have two stars from uh, Hallmark's, Hallmark Channel's movie that's coming up this Saturday. And we have Marcus Rosner and Tegan Moss. Nice yeah. to see you guys, very, very nice to see you. All right, well, Marcus, of course, the Hardys absolutely love Marcus, I, don't know. I have heard, I have heard nothing but tell him how much we love him. We love following his career. We didn't like how he acted always when he was on When Calls the Heart season two. We didn't like his character, but we love him. Right. And so they still are very very supportive of you guys. <laughs> that's that's great. Um, and so we're very familiar with you. And of course, the burning question is. Is it possible that Marcus's character is finally going to get the girl? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think it's very possible. I don't think that's any big secret. So I think I can say that. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I think this is the the time we break through that glass ceiling. So <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I, I actually I actually was reading. Today, uh, there was an interview that had been posted actually on It's a Wonderful Movie Blogspot. Maybe you, you guys have heard of that particular mm -hmm. blog. Um, yeah, yeah I clear. read it. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Right. And so I was reading that, and I noticed that the screenwriter, whom I love, Julie Sherman Wolf, I love her. I've interviewed her a couple times. Um, I was reading what she said, and she said that she made a promise to Marcus, and after the birthday wish because for those of us who have hallmark we got to see marcus in the birthday wish and he wasn't a very nice guy rarely am <laughs> right and and so it was really great she made this promise i remember she actually tweeted it out and she wouldn't say what the promise was but i think we all could kind of guess we were hoping that this time marcus might get the girl yeah as soon as i uh as soon as they they called me about doing the uh, the second one of these um, vineyard movies, she emailed me, and she's like, "I told you, I promised you, I'd be the person to write the the home movie where you get the girl." And yeah, it was it was it was adorable, and it was very uh, very sweet of her, and she definitely did. She wrote me some really good scenes, and I think they're gonna be uh, I think they're gonna be good. Yeah. Well, good. I am glad. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, well, I do know that Hardys are super excited that there's that prospect of you finally getting the girl. Um, Denise is on here extremely excited. Uh, she's <laughs> right now the only one chatting, but I so appreciate Denise. She is a massive support supporter, massive Hardy, and she does a lot, a lot to promote the Hallmark stuff. So I know she is very excited, and I'm sure she speaks for all the Hardys that we are all very, very excited. So. <laughs> So that is that's good news. That is good news because I remember Marcus in the last interview we did that they were saying that they want that they really wanted to give you a role um, that would be um, I think I think it was something about when you joined when you did on in the vineyard last year that yeah. they wanted to give you a role that really 
was was a good role for you. They're looking for the right role for you, and they felt like they finally found it when they when they gave you Autumn in the Vineyard, if I remember right. Yeah, the way it was funny. Is I do these Hallmark movies, and I always play the snobby rich guy, and that is kind of the opposite of of me. I think I don't think I'm much of a snob. Hmm. Yeah, you're all right. I can see. <laughs> not, not, not a snob. So I think I think this character Marco is sort of. In, and me too. It's sort of uh, as close to me as, as any of these characters I've had the chance to play on Hallmark. So, so I enjoy well, that. Well, that is, which is accurate. So. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good news for us. Uh, now, Tegan, it was really exciting. I was looking through your credits because I thought I knew I recognized your name. And I thought, why do I recognize your name? And when I saw November Christmas, in your credits that is like a big movie our whole family really enjoys that film oh it was a lovely film lovely film based on a true story so it was it was a wonderful experience to film right yeah right and I, and I think if i remember right that that was the last film that you did for hallmark well, actually, I so I took a long break. I just took a almost six year break. I lived abroad. I got married, had babies, did that whole thing. So um, now I'm back, and I actually filmed um, Garage Sale Mystery, which will be coming out the day after this one. Um, so I filmed that one right before this. So yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> hey. <laughs> I know. Well, well, that's really exciting because the Hardys, of course, uh, I, I didn't didn't know that you were going to be in the next Garage Sale Mystery. I'm actually getting ready to uh, preview that, as a matter of fact. I got sent a link so I can I can preview that. So so you're in the one Murder by Text, is that Murder right? Murder by Text, yeah. And I actually filmed with my brother, Jesse, which was the sixth time we filmed together, which was really fun. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well, Tegan, I, I, I would like to know, and I'm sure the Hallmark viewers would like to know as well, um, a little bit more about you, about how you got started acting. Marcus is Marcus. Yeah. I have talked about that, so yeah. I figured we didn't need to go over what was going on with Marcus because they can they can see what 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 he has said previously. And yeah, I've been around the block. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But, but Tika, if you could tell us some of your story, I think that'd be great. Yeah, sure. So I started when I was six. So long time ago, um, I started because my brother started and I used to go to auditions with him and you know, there's lots of kids my age and I thought, hey, sounds like fun. So I went on my first commercial audition and I booked it and then I started working a lot. I, the first movie I did was Look Who's Talking Now with John Travolta and Christy Alley. And yeah, I, I had a part in Little Women, which mostly got cut out, but it was still really fun to do. And yeah, look close. Um, but it was it was super fun. It was like I worked a lot in my childhood, and it was so amazing. Like I didn't know it was work at all, of course. Like it was just the most amazing hobby. Still is to me. You know, I just like can't believe this is what we can do for a living because it's so much fun and as a kid especially it's like it's all make-believe right and get to dress up and there was a craft service table with candy and, i mean it was That's it was so nice much fun yeah i know right chocolate every day what <laughs> um yeah so it was i just started working all all my life and then i took a little break when i went to university and missed it a lot and got back into it and then worked again until i moved abroad with my husband and I was living in Indonesia, Abu Dhabi, and Dubai, so couldn't work out there. Dubai. <laughs> and then I had my babies, and I came home, and I finally got to get back to my career, which was fantastic. Now it's Tegan Moss weekend on Hallmark. Yes. Wow, you might get sick of this day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do not think we're going to get sick of seeing you, honestly. I don't know. No, if anything, we'll get sick of seeing Marcus, right? I yeah, mean, well, that's have sick. Yeah, right, 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 right. We're, we're, we're certainly not going to get sick of Tegan. Tegan's <laughs> well, so sweet and plays these nice roles, and so. Well, we'll see in Crash Soul Mystery. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh. 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 She's going to destroy my image of her. Uh, well, we'll just have to watch, find out. Good or bad. So you mentioned, uh, Tegan, that. Um, that 
you have two kids. I, I, I had actually read ahead of time that you were married and you had mm. two kids. And so how old are your kids? One and three. My three-year-old's turning three actually on Saturday, the day of the movie. Really? So it's a happy day. Oh. Yeah. Just make him watch it. Yeah. Sit down. Like it. <laughs> a three-year-old. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, at least you know it'd be safe for your kids to watch, but whether it would keep their interest, that might be another thing. Yeah. <laughs> I understand how that goes. I, I actually have a 14 year old, so I, I do understand about, about having kids. So daughter yeah. or son? Yeah. I have a I have a daughter. She's and she loves the garage sale mysteries. She is a big uh Lori Lachlan fan and she she likes when calls the heart. Um it's funny. My mom knows who you are, Marcus, but I always, but she he doesn't know you by name. So I have to go around and say, remember, he's the snobby rich guy. And if you don't have to do that, uh, she knows exactly who you are. So, oh, okay, yep. It is great. Oh, and by the way, I did want to say, uh, going back to uh, November Christmas, Tegan, um, that that the same the same gal i mean denise she is she is like really awesome and i'm so glad that she's been willing to chat and she's been on here and um she loved november christmas just as much oh. as i think everybody did so lovely great i'll have to still watch. still one of those films that hallmarks loves to play and they play it like every year at christmas so it's a really touching story so. but but uh, going back to your kids so so Tegan, how on earth do you uh, juggle everything with having little ones like that. You're married, and I realize you took some time off. But was it was it difficult then to jump back in after this time away? It was definitely different, like different challenges I didn't expect. Because you know, with two kids that age, like even getting ready in the morning and out of the house um, is hard. So when you're trying to prepare for an audition and learn lines or get to work, it's like you really have to plan ahead. But I'm very, very lucky. I'm very close with my family and I have my in-laws and my mom. They're all amazing grandparents and they, they really chip in and help out a lot. So that saves the day for sure. That's good. That's good. Always good to have family support. Mm -hmm. I, I I, I live with my parents, so they help out. Even even with my da my daughter is wonderful. Um, I mean, and, and and I don't say that just because I'm a mother. I'm honestly saying that that other people tell me the same thing, and she's a really good student and all that. But my parents are a big help, so I know parents are essential. I think parents, grandparents, whoever you can have to help out with the kids is great. So that's good. Yeah, it's so nice when you're leaving the kids and you have to work and. You, know, you feel guilty by leaving them, but when you know they're with their grandparents, you give them so much love and really take the time to teach them things. You 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 feel okay, and it allows me to do what I love to do and know they're in good hands. So it's yeah, right, right, right. Okay, so this now this particular film that you two are in, um, Summer in the Vineyard, it's kind of like I know a, a I guess it's it's a sequel or a second installment of um, a book series, I believe, isn't that? Correct. I think yeah. that's right. Okay. And um, so for those who enjoyed Autumn in the Vineyard, a lot of the cast came back this time, which is awesome. Of course, Marcus is is returned. I remember Autumn in the Vineyard very clearly from last year. Um, but what what do we need to, is there, is, for those who maybe haven't seen Autumn in the Vineyard or for those who might have forgotten it, is there anything that we need to know as we go into um, seeing Summer in the Vineyard? Is there anything that is it? Does it pick up where we left off, or is it a completely different story? Uh, what would you say about that? You're in it. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, it basically picks up right where the other one left off. Um, and uh, Frankie and Nate are sort of trying to figure out um, how they balance their different uh, personalities and their competitive nature that sort of spurred their relationship to start in the first place. And so this one sort of picks up with them trying to uh, navigate the challenges of starting a Sorrento vineyard. And um, the second one sort of narrows, we, we developed a, uh, like a cast of characters in that first one that sort of embody this nice little town of St. Madeline. And, uh, 
and that was nice. But this one really narrows that cast a little bit, so we can focus a little bit more on um, the storyline between Frankie and Nate and Marco, and now Tegan's character. Um, and so, yeah, it just narrows it down into two storylines, and we kind of see those play out, and a few of the other characters you saw in the first one sort of um, are pushed aside for this one, so we can kind of develop that family setting. That asks, mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of meandering words there. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, uh, now I know, Marcus, you were in it, and of course, um, I know Jeremy Gilbo was in it, and then um, Rachel Lee Cook and Brendan Penny, those were all, they were all the returning people. Tegan, was it difficult for you to jump in since you hadn't hadn't been a part of the first one? Not at all. They hazed her so They're hard. so horrible to me. So mean. No, I'm, I'm very. They had to carry everyone's bag. It's true. It's a classic rookie Raven. No, it was. I was really, really lucky. First of all, the cast was amazing. The crew was amazing. But I also knew a lot of people. Jeremy's a really good friend of mine, um, and Brendan Penny and I have worked together before, and we're longtime friends as well. So that was helpful. And this guy was a little mean. Yeah, but she knew he... more people than I did. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> no. Like I didn't know Jeremy at all from the first one, really, because we had like one or two scenes together. We didn't really have a conversation with him. She rolls up, and her and Jeremy are like old friends, and we knew Brendan <laughs> from working together. And I felt like the yeah, outside. Like I didn't like it. Yeah. yeah. Push the so we're gonna find a new girl for a third one. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the time. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Well, the question that we just asked, so Tegan, is your character then new? I'm assuming they. Yeah. they I am. I so I'm Frankie's cousin. So it's kind of nice because I come and everything's new. I, I don't know much about wine. I don't know much about the town, and I'm meeting people like this guy for the first time. So um, it's it's nice. You kind of get to see everything. Mm -hmm with Lexi the same way the audience does them. Yeah, it's true, actually. Yeah. You are the lens. I am the lens, yes. Mm. All right, so since we're talking about the film, uh, and you've kind of hinted at some things, so is there anything else that we should be watching out for? Um, something else you can tell us about the storyline? I know you've hinted at some things. Um, is there anything else you can tell us about the story? Um, that without spoiling it, it's going to be very beautiful. They, yeah, they have the <laughs> locations. <laughs> the locations that they picked Not this about. time, there is a lot more um, picturesque locations, and they really brought a lot of the scenery to it, we, which is we spent a lot more time in the Okanagan mm -hmm. this time. Last year, we did two weeks in Vancouver, doing um, a lot smaller sets, a lot of interiors and stuff, and then we did a bunch of our exteriors uh, in the Okanagan for one week, and then this last shoot we did two weeks in the Okanagan and one week in Vancouver, and so and they have drones and everything, and because of that, it's just it's going to be one of the most beautiful movies Hallmark's ever made, yeah. I think. Um, and that was kind of the sentiment around set. That's sort of yeah. what everybody was saying. So it was so amazing to we, film in these locations. Like yeah, was, our green room would be out looking over a vineyard over the water, and we're like, is this real? <laughs> this it is, is yeah, it was incredible. Amazing. I was putting up pictures every day. Cause, oh, oh yeah, I was I was actually remembering that how all this video, this video of pictures that Marcus kept putting on his Instagram every time we turned around, he was, he was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember that was anything. I was like, look at this beautiful place we are. And I figured it'd be nice to it take advantage nice. of it. People really Thank you. felt like they were there. I hope so. That was, <laughs> that was my intent. Oh, yeah, it was very nice. It was nice. But I think it made us think, is is Marcus actually doing any work, or is he just going around and taking video? Yeah, he, he's just very, very, very They don't hard. ask a whole lot. Okay. So... Since you two have done you know, quite a bit, well, I know Marcus has done quite a bit with Hallmark. Um, I th and I think, I'm trying to remember, um, I mean, I, I know Tegan's done some, I don't remember how much I know I was trying to go through all your credits, but um, at least you guys have done you know, several things with Hallmark. Um, what is it that you guys like about working for Hallmark? Uh, yeah. Um, I really like it because all the scripts are, they're so lovely. Like they all make people feel good and they're really nice 
heartwarming stories. So that translates across everything, how the actors feel coming to set, how everybody in the crew feels. There's just like a really nice kind of family feel to actually shooting the film as well as the end product. That's what I was gonna say. It's very uh, familial. We kind of work with the same directors um, mm -hmm. over and over and they sort of, there's like, especially with how many films they do up here in Vancouver, you get a lot of like square dancing where you just mixing up partners every yeah. other movie and uh and it's kind of nice that way because you get to know these people and you work with them again and again like martin wood who directed this i worked with him on uh on when calls the heart um and then peter day louise i've worked with a couple times who does the garage sale mysteries mm -hmm. no neil friend oh, okay mm -hmm. yeah, i've worked with him too yeah See, me too it's i've just worked like, with him before as well yeah, yeah i worked great. with him on when calls the heart so they all yeah yeah, I like the directors. I like mm -hmm. that you get to work with these directors over and over. It gives you, yeah. you could see really comfortable and you could see definitely the familiarity that uh, especially Brendan Penny had with uh, with Martin Wood where <laughs> they're able to just give them very blunt direction um, because of that familiarity and there's no, yeah. there's no egos that you need to worry about, so. Yeah. Okay. Now had you two met before this film had you had you guys ever met no we know a lot of the same people we have a lot of yeah, the same we friends just but... that. her brother jesse um and i have a similar look and so we auditioned for a lot of the same projects um and so i kind of once i knew her last name i was like oh you jesse moss's sister and blah, 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 blah. so that was and then she also knew jeremy and mm -hmm. everybody who's ever acted in the career yeah, <laughs> yeah i mean it's funny because I because I did take such a long break and that's probably why we didn't meet. Yeah. Earlier. Yeah. Back in the game. Yeah. On the bench for someone. I was just starting my career. <laughs> I didn't act when I was five years old. So. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Just taking my nose at that age like every other kid. <laughs> okay. So so I'm um, so did you guys you instantly connected was was it difficult to create chemistry between the two of you well we had because we started out in vancouver we got to film a whole day just us two so yeah that's in, true that was the second day but yeah. that was more or less the first but that's when we, we really got to yeah. yeah we spent a full what, like, There's a whole 14 hours of, together because, yeah which was like the second third day of shooting and yeah basically the first time that we spent an extended period of time with each other and there's always a bunch of bakery scenes in the film because Keegan's character is a baker. Pastry chef. Pa sorry. Pastry. Isn't that in the movie? I see you say pastry chef. I said, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Adorable. Um, and so we did all these scenes at this this bakery. And uh, so, yeah, we just got to know each other throughout the course of that day. And she wasn't terrible. So it worked out. Yeah. When he was looking at from his phone. We were, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Mr. Busy doing all the live Instagram stories. So, you know. Like, hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think Marcus has come a long way because he was that one who was I'd be reluctant. I hated it. I yeah, hated yeah. People that posted everything. Oh yeah. I've become one of them. <laughs> um, what is happening? Yeah, because if I remember right, I think it was. I think you created your an Instagram account when you were filming. Was it Firehouse Christmas? Called, uh, Firehouse Christmas, yeah. And they were all on lunch and um, yeah, they were all Instagramming and they couldn't tag me, so I created one that day. He was trying to teach me the whole time. Yeah, so I was like, to <laughs> See, you know, I've been out of it for six years, so I was like, how do you live feed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was trying to show you. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do it one day. <laughs> do you retain any of that information? Some of it. I'm getting better. Yeah. Some days. Some I'm so busy with my kids. My hands are yeah. full of children. I can't take those. It's real life, and I just have time to kill. Yeah. 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 So, so how are you guys? A lot. Are you, are, what are the similarities between you and the character that characters you're portraying in this film, and then what differences are there? Um, I would say I'm a lot like Lexi because Lexi is very determined to make her own success, to work hard for things that she feels passionate about. So. I'm like her in that way, and I also like her in the sense that I'm willing to go to new places and go on new adventures and make things work and figure it out as you go, as all my travels took me and life took me. Um, how am I different? I don't like him. 
this is the best acting. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. I don't know. How am I not like Lexi? How are you not like Lexi? You are very similar. Lexi's like a super girly girl, though. That's true. She's a bit more girly girl. Lots, of, lots pink. of pink. Lots yeah, of pink. Yeah, that was one thing we talked about. We lots so pink. much pink. And I know a bit more about wine than Lexi. That's true. That's so <laughs> weird. Yeah. She's like, she's like the only person in the movie that knows about wine, and she <laughs> knows the least about wine. Very <laughs> ironic. Well, I'm getting it. Yeah, you were, you came a long way. I did so many tastings when we were shooting this. We go to one vineyard and I do a tasting there. We go to another. We actually did a whole day of tasting yeah. one day. I, I learned so much about wine. I mean, promptly forgot it for the week after. But I've been I've been drinking wine. Yeah, yeah, came a long way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that, oh, yeah. that's Marcus's turn. Oh, yeah. to ask the question. What was that Sorry? turn? Now, now it's now it's Marcus's turn. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, he likes to be the clown a lot, and I think I do that sometimes. <laughs> She'll say, no, oh, no, you're a very serious, serious actor, and you're very, I want to be Sean Penn, but I feel like I'm a little more not that. <laughs> See? <laughs> I don't see you. Um, okay, hang on. Let's get back on track here. Well, I, he's fun, and I'm fun. Very deep. <laughs> yeah. We're both deep thinkers, too. <laughs> okay. She's like, and, and, and then how are you different? Uh, how are we different? Um, Marco's, like, really dumb. And I'm not that dumb. I don't so know. <laughs> Marco's a little bit like he, he he does things that are like you wouldn't do that if you were a person. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this question a bust on my hand. Okay. <laughs> Forgot my lines. <laughs> Um, now, I've talked with Marcus before about what he likes to do when he's not acting in his free time, and we all know he's kind of boring as far as that goes. You know, we've we've had that discussion, and it's, and it's okay that he's boring because uh, because he because he and I have had discussions about football before, and he knows a lot more about football than I do. I, yeah. that, that is true. Next time he talks, he knows he knows a lot about football and who knows and and basketball and uh, and. All those, all those we sports. Gained viewers right now. <laughs> no, we gained a viewer. Oh, we, great. <laughs> we didn't come here for football. Once I talked about sports, we actually gained a oh, viewer, okay. so that's kind of scary. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, but but I think it's great. Mark, Marcus knows that stuff. It's great. I, I, I think it's great that he, he does that. And, and I actually pay attention to the Dallas Cowboys be, uh, a little bit because because Marcus likes the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, suck it in. Thank you. One by one. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. So, sometimes I'll be rooting for the Cowboys um, instead of the Seahawks. You know, I'm supposed to be on the side of the Seahawks, and I, I'm not always. Not always. So. so. Um, but, Tegan, wait. What? What? I realize you have kids, and I know that that makes it, and, and you're married, and that makes it a little different. You're 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 not the nice the nice uh, free uh, spirit that Vivian Marcus is. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Three times, uh, it shrinks a little when you have kids. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but what what do you Tegan? What do you? like to do when you have a chance, when you have some time to yourself, what what kind of things do you like to do? Um, well, I definitely when the good weather is is back in Vancouver, I, I love to run. I love to run outdoors. Um, and I also, when I get a chance, I like to stand up paddle, um, which has been fun this summer. And also we've introduced the kids to biking a lot this summer. They, we've, we did both the ones where they were riding along with us and in the little uh, canopy trailer, and they had a blast. So we've been trying to bike as much as we can this summer. 
Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. And run around after toddlers. Yeah. Oh, Changing diapers right. is my hobby. Yeah. Mine too. <laughs> 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 that doesn't quite okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, well, maybe maybe you could uh, you should teach Marcus some of these things. I know the first time he ever we ever chatted, he said how he should go out and do all these things outside, and he doesn't. Oh, yeah. so I, I did. Yeah, yeah. I said yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I I did say that, and I've made an effort since then. Oh, more active. I went kayaking like two weeks ago. And I went bike riding. And I, went, I you know, we are going to go hiking. Yeah. I can't say that. <laughs> kayaking took a lot out of me. I did a bunch of stuff. We played, yeah. We played yeah. softball, actually. I played yeah. softball on her husband's softball team. Yeah. Softball. And, I, and I thought when you said he needs to do more of this, you meant taking care of children. And I did give my child to Marcus and me for a while. And, I how to hold it. Yeah, you were cool. Oh, okay. Hey, that's well. Well, that's good because I was actually going to ask if uh, your your kids got to uh, come to set. I was I was wondering about that. It is. Yeah, yeah, they came out to Asayus, and um, it was fun. It's you know, it was it's hard to have them on set because they're loud. They're at the age when they don't know what rolling means. So they came in the morning, and they kind of came in the hair and makeup trailer and met everybody. But they were mostly interested in the chickens that were behind circus there was chickens there were chickens yeah so there they liked chickens. that I missed out <laughs> oh my goodness i i guess yeah i guess marcus did miss out that's 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 a shame he looks really sad too kids should have called me like, marcus is i know we all sorry i'll out. tell them next time <laughs> Well, yeah, that's, that actually does bring up a question is, is you think that there's going to be a possibility of there being more films in this particular series? I think so. I, I mean, we don't know anything, but. It's a possibility. Yeah, there's a, definitely a possibility. There's more books and we're awesome. And there's lots know, of things to do in the video. Hallmark needs movies. Actually, you know what? Movie. Tegan read the books. We should say that. Or you read? No. no, she read. She read <laughs> this book, and she's okay. the only one to do that. So that's good. Um, oh, yeah. I was under <laughs> Who else read the book? Rachel did read the book. Didn't you? I think Martin did. Probably. Oh did. yeah, Martin probably read the book. Martin has to read the book. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um. Oh. The question is being asked. Let's see, Denise is asking, "Did they have any scenes with the llama?" We did didn't. The llama? We didn't. Frankie and Nate did. Yeah. Oh, well, we okay. can see the llama in the distance, but we didn't get to hang out with. What's his name? Larry? No, they called him Mittens. Mittens. But his real name, though, what is his real Larry. name? Larry. Larry Dillon. Larry. Oh, Mittens, way better. Larry the llama is that was that the real name? Fairly really creative. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, so we, no, I was we actually didn't, very we sad. I didn't get to see the llama. Uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. So, so you've got so Marcus not only missed out on the chickens, but he missed out on the oh, llama. The animals away from me. I don't know why. <laughs> well, you must be doing something right if Tegan would trust you with her kids. So you know them. <laughs> They saw me. Seconds. They saw me with the kid, and then they were like, "Keep the animals away." You can't be trusted with chickens. <laughs> right, right. Well, now, in, in Mark's defense, though, I remember um, Firehouse Christmas. He did play an awesome dad. Oh, I'd like to see this. My dog. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, my my now that's the other movie my mom knows Marcus from. Is I was just talking about it today because I said um, how he got the girl in Firehouse Christmas, but he hasn't gotten the girl yet on Hallmark, and so that's why the hearts are all. Uh, but and and Firehouse Christmas, yeah, it's a wild ride. It is a wild film, but it is. It, but, and honestly, it's cute. It is fun. It is it's fun. Wild ride. Well, all that's right. very nice Maybe. of you to say, Ruth. Thank you. Well, I don't, no. think I, I don't think I saw that in any in any other reviews. But oh, really? I thought it was. 
I thought it was hilarious. Oh my god, that was cute. It was fun. I, I thought I thought it was great when 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 your character is stuck in the chimney. I thought that was a great yeah, part. Oh, like a third of the movie. Definitely want to see this yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch. Yeah. I'll watch November Christmas. You watch Firehouse. Christmas. Done. Before that we do the next movie. Okay. There you go. There you go. Um, no, I'm not going to rush home. Actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> November. So supportive. No. Okay, uh, you can watch it in November. Or at Christmas. Okay. The yeah. There you go. That, well, that, that's good. That's that's nice to see you both supporting each other. You both. You know, it's 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 nice to see that you both seem to get along. I mean, even if the, even if, the, if, if you try to claim this as an app, it's nice to see that you know, you're getting along. And <laughs> I, 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 I know, I know, but that's, that's okay. I, 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 could, I, I mean, after all, I already knew Marcus. I just am Keegan and, and I mean, this is the third time I have talked with Marcus. Yeah. yeah. We switch each other messages on Twitter sometimes. And oh. Oh yeah, definitely, really? definitely. Yeah, he's yeah. I, I think Marcus is a nice guy because he also um, is very supportive of what I do, and he's he's been known to talk about me out, outside of you know, of of social media, I guess I'd say. So I appreciate you're the uh, you're the Howard Cassell of Hallmark. Really. Howard Cassell. Of Hallmark. Okay, I'll take that. I've 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 been called lots of things. I. I you're, somebody, you're the main conduit from us Vancouver actors to the Hallmark. Right. And, uh, right. Yeah, you're the best at doing what you do. So. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Okay, yes. Uh, yes, and yes. And so, uh, yes, Denise, you do need to see Firehouse Christmas. Yes. Um, if you, in fact, if any Hardys have not seen Firehouse Christmas, See if you can look it up. It is worth watching. Honestly, Marx's character is completely different than anything you've ever seen before. Ever. It, yeah, it is good. It is good though. It really is. Thank you. It, it, it is. It is fun. And 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 if 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 other reviewers were putting it down, yeah, don't pay attention. They I didn't. Know. No, I didn't see anything like that. It was just I don't think anybody said it was the ride of a lifetime. So I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So now do you, now I know you we have this film coming up at least for the Hallmark audiences that live in the US. I know I'm not sure when it will make it to Canada, but at least this Saturday we have Summer in the Vineyard. So we'll get to see both of you in that. And then of course we'll get to see uh, Tegan in Garage Sale Mystery then the next day, Murder by Text. Okay. And so that'll be good. Do you guys have anything else upcoming that you can mention? Yeah. Um. Mm, I have a voiceover thing coming up, but it's still top secret, so I'm not allowed to talk about oh, it. Oh, man. I know. I'm going to hear about that later. But that's coming out in November as well, so I'll have to keep you posted about that. But it's a bit. Cool. Mm -hmm. I um, got uh, Unreal Season 3 coming out in early 2018, uh, which I did with uh, Brennan Elliott, who also does a lot of Hallmark stuff. I saw that uh, you would interview him recently. I, uh, yeah, I read a bit of that. Um, yeah, I do six episodes out of the ten that they did on the season there. Um, and uh, then I'm doing some ADR for a Lifetime movie I did in January tomorrow, actually. I'm guessing that'll come out sometime this fall. I did that with a lovely actress named Laura Minnell, who was also on When Calls the Heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two cops who are uh, in charge of keeping a, uh, uh, a young girl who witnessed the a murder. Uh, who were in charge of keeping her safe from this killer. Played by Aaron Pearl, I'm assuming he's done some homework as well, maybe. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure. Mm -hmm. I know I I know I just who did I interview there? Because that was something, is it like mom, mom cop or something like that? Oh, like police mom. That's it, that's it. Okay, that's it. I, I could I couldn't remember because I I, I've, I've interviewed some other people who are who are in that as well. And so um, that's why I was somewhat familiar with it. I thought, oh, he's going to be in that. Because, uh, mm -hmm. of course, you had your big 
rural, um, uh, what was that one, Suburbia? So what was the name of that film? Infidelity in Suburbia. Uh, yeah, I did that last year for, for Lifetime. Um, yeah, that was great. We did that about a year ago now, right before I did uh, Firehouse Christmas. Right. And it aired in like February or something like that. Obviously a very different character than I've had the chance to play before, which is great yeah. and uh, a little more intense than any of the material you get on, on Hallmark. So it was a nice switch up that way. And, uh, yeah, I think it turned out all right. So. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a that was one. Um, a lot of Hardys watched it. A lot of Hallmark people watched it. Yeah, it was intense. It was very different. But I heard a lot of positive things, at least from people that I know, said that they they really enjoyed it. Some people said that it was too scary that they couldn't see that for, to see you like that, and they had a hard time watching it. <laughs> well, I, I, like it always amazes me that the Hallmark fans will like travel with you to other networks and to other projects that you do. And yeah. I'm just always amazed. I get on Twitter and everyone's so kind and they just, they make an effort to actually watch right. other stuff I do. And I'm sure other stuff, everybody does, all the other actors. And, yeah, right. Well, amazing. Yeah. Well, and see now that Tegan's back is, is that I'm sure that she will get the same kind of thing because it's, the Hallmark fans as a whole seem to be very, very supportive of their actors. She's, lovely. she's so lovely in this film, too. Yeah. It, you really are, yeah. Oh, like, just, yeah. You're a nice you're a little guy. pastry chef, and she's so sweet. And she really brings this, um, just the sweetness to the, the second film, I think, that uh, really balances out the cast nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so someone was asking specifically, Marcus, do you have any Christmas movies coming up? I guess I want to see you in a Christmas movie. No, not yet. Um, I think they're still doing a few of them for the next couple of months, so maybe we'll see. But nothing, uh, nothing yet this year. You? Not Christmas this year. Movies? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tegan's just getting back into it, so I, I can, I can understand that. It, but it might come. It's, you guys probably know. I'm sure Hallmark has greatly increased. The, their their output this year now yeah, very much and yeah. and 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 they even have a new they have a, I don't know if you guys are aware of the fact there's actually a new channel they're starting a a third channel have you guys heard about that something like that drama yeah that's yeah. interesting I read that on Twitter like last week and I thought oh huh, more movies great. yeah yeah that's great and a stream, they're starting a streaming service, and I mean they're cool. they're expanding. Yeah, they're expand. Yeah, they're going to have a subscription service. Um, and I can't remember. They've got the details listed somewhere. I don't remember all the details, but yeah, they'll have a streaming service so people can subscribe yearly and and watch all the Hallmark stuff. And it's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So, so so they're definitely they're definitely picking up uh, very 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 much. So so okay. Well, I think we have covered everything as far as what I wanted to talk with you guys about. Um, and, I, and I can promise you that people will come and watch this because what happened, what I've discovered with these, not everybody can tune in when it's live. Yeah. But once the recorded, you know, this goes and it, it goes and it's recorded and, and um, then I, I kind of go through and edit, edit out um, yeah, well, we should just edit out Marcus completely, I'm sure. I, I, I really I like that. I'm going to ask you that later. I'm going to get off this. I'm going to ask it. Oh man, maybe. What's the half a screen? I'll cut off the end. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> um, but you know, basically, I just edit it. I edit out, just make it look so that it's better and, and, and make sure, you know, and then I put it back up and and that way people can watch it and and people still watch it people or people will come to my site and watch it and and so you'll have a chance to watch it and and what's nice is we're doing this early enough since it's tuesday and yeah. it's not until saturday we're doing it early enough that it'll get up in plenty of time and people will be watching it and so so that'll be great and um so yeah. so, did, so go ahead go ahead I was just gonna say, yeah. I, I, I mean, whenever I watch one of these things, it's never like live. You always tune in. And you'll find it on YouTube after the fact and right. watch it on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I think so far, the one that's gotten the the most traffic has actually been 
the one that Jeremy and Andrea did together. So I'll have to see. Oh, it. nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have to see if you two can beat that because, you know, you know, you never, you never. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm going to check those numbers. Right, right, right. Well, it was so very, very nice getting to, you know, getting to see you officially, Marcus, because uh, I mean, we've just been on the phone. So now I got to see you and and um, and then getting to meet you, Tegan. That was that was great. Um, yeah. Thanks for having me. And so. Um, all right. Well, we will, well, I will plan on and I'm sure that most of the homework people will plan on tuning in on saturday i think it's uh and sunday oh yeah and sunday you're right and sunday definitely yes definitely yeah because we get to it we have we get it's it yeah it's taking moss weekend so it's it's taking moss weekend. Oh, yeah. right, right. we need to get that trending we need to get that trending. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> taking moss, moss weekend on hallmark we'll have to we'll have to do that <laughs> um so so I think that but we will plan on tuning in on both Saturday and Sunday and um, look forward to everything that you guys will be in. Maybe, maybe we can maybe we can get uh, Tegan to maybe they'll they'll put her on one calls the heart or something too. Oh, that would be well, lovely. That's a, that's a matter of time. That would be lovely. <laughs> that would that would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Chesapeake Shores would which, be lovely which, because Megan's oh. one of my best friends. She was one of the bridesmaids at my wedding. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chess Peak Shores. Yeah. So then we need to get Marcus on Chess Peak Shores. I think that'd be awesome because a lot of a lot of maybe Lexi and Marcus yeah. just travel <laughs> Lexi, over to Lexi and Marco. Come from. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. You never know. Everybody. <laughs> a little wine shop. Yeah. Because <laughs> we because we got Marcus on a mystery movie. He was on one of the Fixer Uppers uh, mystery. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was cool. Yeah. 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 So he, he got to do that. Yeah. I actually, I actually thought he was the murderer. I was all prepared. For I him. thought I was the murderer too. When I was reading it. I <laughs> right. feel like the last bit. And I, right. I, I did this and then nope. Right. So we'll have to see if Tegan's the murderer on, uh, on Sunday. We don't, I don't know. Yeah, this looks like a murderer. I, you look like a murderer. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen you kill people. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, that's it. That sounds like quite a story. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, it was lovely talking to you guys, and uh, you have a good rest of your week. Thank you for taking your time, and um, I so appreciate it. Thanks, Ruth. Thanks for fun. having us. All right. Well, you guys have a good week, and we look forward to this weekend. Sounds good. All right. Take care. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye.